Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a few days and watch a new reading. You could check other parts of your chart for a more complete energetic profile. Or you could even look around on Mondays because the reading format is different every week. So one week I may do a Celtic cross and that will be a more in-depth reading. There's a love reading. There's a pick a card reading. All kinds of stuff going on here. Um, I do want to thank you all for your support from watching the readings, hitting that like button, and of course subscribing to Higher Source Tarot. I do appreciate it. Oh, you had a card come out, so we'll put that over there. Um, it's it's fun. We're going to keep going here. And if you like tarot and you like this channel and you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to subscribe. And you won't miss a thing. All right, what advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please? All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot. We'll have a clarifier that joined us along the way. You've got the lovers, justice, the nine of cups. I haven't seen the nine of cups in ages. The chariot, the six of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, the ten of swords, and the three of pentacles. Beautiful reading, Pisces. So along the way, you had the Hermit pop out here. I saw it when I picked it up. You've got Virgo, Cancer, Libra, Gemini here. You've got Earth, Water, and a little bit of air here too, but it's kind of an earthy reading as well. You know, the hero, or the, the hero, the Hermit here is your, that inner shaman, you know, that's the, he holds that lantern to guide you through the night. It's great wisdom, knowledge. It's also, too, about knowing yourself, right? And when you know yourself, you know the universe. It's being in sync, in alignment with this universal energy. There's a real calm and peace and kind of a zen, tranquility energy around you. I hear that sort of tranquil spa music. And I don't know if it's something you have. Maybe you t tell Alexa, turn this into a spa-like atmosphere. I don't know. But with this, you've got you know, you've got this ability to disconnect, too, from all that noisy stuff around you. And so as you do that, you're going to find it leads you to abundance. Um, so the lovers comes in here. I mean, we've got, talk about powerful energies here with the lovers, the nine of cups and the chariot. Boy, do you have a relationship showing up here. It's like moving forward. It feels like full throttle. So hopefully that's what you want because... That's how it comes across. It's definitely a very important relationship for you. It's real love. I mean, it's Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. It's like two lovers who cross, your paths cross. And I don't know, for some reason, it's interesting. It feels a little bit forbidden in some way. Um, I don't usually get that with the lovers, but it does. There's something about it that feels, I don't know if there's a big age difference or there's something, um, I hear 17 years, I don't know why, but... Anyway, if there's something where it just seems a little unconventional, but that's okay. I mean, it's guided by angels. Uh, for some of you, too, in terms of your work life, that's really going to move forward as well. You know, the lovers can represent choices. And so it's a little different, though, quite a bit different than the shadow aspects like the devil, which is pretty much the same. It's very similar in terms of the look of the card, but it's so different in terms of the energy. It's, it's like the choices that you've made along the way are really building up a future. It's building up a future in terms of work and love, whoever this is for. So the justice card comes in, and it, this brings the absolute truth. There's integrity, there's honesty. It's also a symbol of things going your way with this upright sword. I feel like you have a very, it's, it, it's a nice combination or companion to the hermit because the hermit goes within and then justice, it's like it gives you this ability to really speak your mind in a way that is, it's like it's rational and well formulated and um, people are listening. You know, they're listening to what you have to say, Pisces. 
And in terms of a relationship too, though, it's, it's to some extent looking at things intellectually. You have that a few different times here. And not getting too blown out about things, not getting too overly emotional about things. So if there's some conflict that happens, it's not the end of the relationship. You know, you don't get to the point where you are so emotional about a topic that you can't think straight. This is, has you thinking straight and seeing things, keeping perspective, okay? Keeping a, a very rational perspective here. So whoever you're attracting, though, with this Nine of Cups, there's definitely reciprocity here. I mean, it's a, definitely a two-way love relationship, very compatible. Now, I do feel like this person may be very cerebral. I do get that. And maybe they own a business or they're in finance or banking or something like that. Um, but I feel like, too, they are generous. It's There's a generosity here. And there's also, too, it's an indication of, you know, getting, receiving small gifts, little tokens of their appreciation, their affection. And it may be vice versa. You have a facility for writing nice little love notes, whether you know that or not. Or even just encouraging notes. You may find somebody here, I feel like they they write little notes to their coworkers and the it's like people want these notes. I just keep seeing notes and people really are enthusiastic about these being the recipient of one of these notes. Maybe it's an anonymous thing. But either way, with the nine of cups, the little things that you're doing mean a lot and vice versa, okay? So the chariot comes in and this is wonderful law of attraction energy. It's manifesting, but the only thing about this is it can be a bit willful, okay? And when you we manifest through will, you'll get things done, but sometimes they don't last. You do have the nice, the sustainability of the um, pentacles here, so I like to see that. The chariot, though, is all about commanding things through your mind. So much like, in some ways, like the lovers, you have Adam represents the conscious mind, Eve is the subconscious, and then it all is sort of like this circular relationship with the divine archangel Raphael here. And so with the chariot, you've got that celestial curtain that represents our universal consciousness bringing heaven to earth, okay? It's like multiple times here. So it's really about manifesting, moving things forward. In a relationship, it's definitely developing. There may be um, nice aspects too, just for a, a, some kind of travel with the chariot and you get it, taking a little getaway I do see somebody kayaking and if you've never done it there may be a, I feel like there's a lesson or something available so you're not just putting yourself in a kayak with no information on how to do it but with this there's there's a feeling of confidence and that's manifesting when you have that confident feeling you know it's going to happen it will happen you know there's no it's a spiritual law you will be manifesting through that energy so the six of pentacles shows up it brings in the Libra scales of balance here, but it's also a card of giving and receiving. In some ways, like the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups is a little bit more inclined to bring you in that wish fulfillment, whereas this is like you're working together with somebody. Again, I feel like this energy may be of the um, person you're attracting, like they're a business owner or something like that, I, or an accountant. I don't know. I just keep seeing numbers and books, like they have something they have to balance, like money-wise. Um, but with this too, it, it is like somebody has a little bit more financially to offer, but they're not shy about it. They're not, um, and, and with the Nine of Cups too, there, there's a generosity here, but there's also, like I said, this reciprocal giving and receiving. So in a relationship too, if it's time, if it's money, if it's something like that, that's a little bit, um, there's a difference there. It feels like it ends up being okay. So with the Knight of Pentacles, things are steady. You know, it's like slow and steady wins a race. I know sometimes people don't love the energy of this because they go, oh God, it's going to take forever. But it's like it moves forward. It just does so in a methodical way. And there's definitely a vision. You know, it's having a vision of what you want and going forward with it. There is a little bit of a cautiousness to this. And sometimes it can be prodding somebody into action. So the chariot's kind of nice with this because the chariot will move things forward. It will prod this knight, like, come on, keep it moving here. Um, so with it, though, if it's a relationship or a job, it's long term. So that's the nice thing about it. It's like promotions come, but they may be a little slow, but then you stay in the job. You stay in the position. 
Financial success is slower in this energy, but in the long term, it's very stable. So with this Ten of Swords, it's like there's always one, feels like in these readings, there's always been one card that's almost a little bit out of place. And here it is. It's for you, it feels like it's the, you know, this energy of feeling more like physically to me than than emotionally betrayed, okay? So to me, it feels more like just making sure you're getting enough rest. You're, you're allowing your mind to be cleared out with the hermit, meditating, taking time for some of those spiritual practices too, um, because the energies around you, you can get swept away in, in love and fun and moving forward and find that your spiritual fitness can take a toll. You know, it takes a toll on it because you're not doing some of the meditation practices and things. Because this can be like a re recovery from a physical or a spiritual illness. So just kind of watch out for that. With the Three of Pentacles, though, it's a very harmonious energy. And it's information. It's like you are giving and receiving throughout this reading information, knowledge. So in a job setting, too, it's like everybody's getting along well. In a, in a relationship, too, you're planning for the future here. It's long-term commitment and it's it's long range plans so if it's a trip you're planning or moving in together you're doing it in a way that's got some precision this is not eloping okay it's like you know like I said it's it's really looking at things in the future Pisces so it's a beautiful reading though I'm, I'm excited for this I'll be interested to hear what's going on with this um let's see what the angels have to say and even if that Ten of Swords, it's recovery either way, even if it is an indication of maybe a past relationship that didn't work out how you thought it was, whatever you're being led to toward is even better. So you won't look back and say, boy, I can't, I, I wish that would not have happened. I wish that wouldn't have ended. It's the ending of something, but there's so much new beginnings. It's beautiful. All right, so you have here, Look for a sign, all right? Those signs and synchronicities are all around you. Meditation brings answers. I'm telling you, this is important for you. The tarot was saying it. They're saying it too. Listen to your intuition. So you meditate, and that's how you can really hone in on your own intuition. That's when it really becomes clear because you're ready. So now they say reconsider, okay? So I love it when they do that. They say you're ready, but reconsider reconsider all the options okay there may be something that you kind of ruled out along the way and be open to any new options too so not to have too much of a fixated focus kind of go general with things because good things are on the way for you Pisces I love you and I'll be back again soon